this is Tomb of the Shadow Lord on Reaper One Skull. As a reminder, this request this this quest requires a hireling to complete. Uh, it's not too bad with a hireling. Uh, it's it's um, there's there's a part where you have like a timed area, and I remember that as being pretty pretty tough timing, but. Based on the first runs, it's not. So we'll see if there's like a difference, uh, a shorter timer on that gate on higher difficulties. So there's a Reaper there, a Carnage Reaper. I didn't even see the Carnage Reaper. And we are the, the you know, basically a strike through, you know, for hitting another enemy, strike through, stunned the Reaper. So it's only a one in 20 chance, but still it's just nice to know that we can stun those Reapers. All right, so this is the blue, this opens the blue gate. Uh, th there's two sides to go here that meet up similar to the level five quest. Um, but we're going to have a hireling pull the red lever so that we can basically just go this way. We're only, like the other quest, you only have to go one way. Fortunately, this one only requires uh, one, the hireling. It doesn't require a separate account in the hireling like the level 5 does. So a little easier uh, of a quest. And I don't have my bank characters high enough to run these type of quests anyway, so I'm glad I don't have that requirement. Alright, so we'll bring him over to the lever. Sometimes you get stuff from the outside here, Reapers especially. I've... So we'll park him closer, a little bit closer, like right on the lever. Have him stand his ground, and then click the lever so it's highlighted on our on our thing here. And then um, it, it does disappear if you go too far to range. But from previous, you know, testing, I know that we can get up to about here and I don't know if it's changed but it used to be if I go past here I lose it so click it run down to the gate gate opens and we're past so that's the first somewhere. barrier we have to get past Be on your toes in this chamber and so now we're on reaper so uh, if if something goes wrong we don't we, we can't just re-enter like we could do that on uh, normal and hard and even elite but with this quest, the one bad thing about it is if, if for some reason it goes it goes bad. What is what's there? This is where the groups have to pull the simultaneously. Or maybe someone has to pull a red lever to unlock it. Uh, but we don't need to we don't need that lever. Alright. A lot of stuff here. So if we try to pull it now, it just doesn't work. Um, this is if you're running it if you're splitting up, but even when we run as a party. We never split up anymore. We, can, we basically have a higher level of lever, and then we all join up. Or we 
all go we all go to one side together rather than splitting up. So I believe that might be what triggers the other side to make it full. disease here to restore that stat damage and as a reminder if you get below if you're if these shadows take you to zero stat damage you just die instantly it's there's no save against it it's just once you're down to zero strength from shadow damage you just die instantly okay so let's I'd rather I'm save this shrine but I don't think we're gonna go backwards sculpture. so let's just use this not all are just stone though the Lord warns you So the other thing that that, that uh, the heal spell actually restores stat damage as part of what it does too. So uh, I need to heal, so I didn't bother to. Uh, all right, time for all punches. chamber to go and then you'll be at Nebtawi's doorstep. The door to advance is sensitive to timing. Precision is key. <laughs> and this is the lever. So we're going to clear both sides first and then I'm going to bring him back here. On hard, I just cleared the one side, but on, on Reaper mode, I'm going to clear both sides and bring him back here. So now I'm going to bring the higher back to the other side. I guess it doesn't matter which side, but I'm sort of used to doing it this way, so I'm just going to stick with that. I know that works. And stuff does respawn in here, so... We have to, we have to get a little bit lucky in that res respect, too. So I'm going to keep him right by the lever. Target it, keep it targeted up here, and then run back to the other lever. Alright. And I think I'm going to try to pull the lever before that I hear something available to attack. So now I'm going to have him pull the lever. I'm going to pull this lever. And now it's unfortunately it's a 
hireling, but or it's a uh, champion, but I'm gonna run back. Through the gate, for my hireling. And now I'm gonna get these guys. You can see the heavy damage over time I'm taking from that dot. So that damage over time is no joke. So we're past the two hardest Thing here um, okay sometimes that it was not counting it was at zero and it's still going so I was a little concerned that I maybe got it glitched all right Carnage Reaper and I'm not off timer so I'm gonna have to really get this guy fast all right so this is the last um, or no this is not the last but the final end area has one too but this is another lever we have to have the hireling pull it it's meant to require two people but with a hireling we can actually do this solo the lord's voice urges you forward and now only nebtawi's chamber remains so we're getting really close now <laughs> getting a little low on spell points and I'm pretty sure there is a shrine around here. I think it's like a door. Um, we should be able to search for it. So I'm gonna, when I get to it, I'm gonna search for it. Try to find that shrine because he's almost out of spell points. Uh, if not, I think we could probably handle this without a higher than the rest of the way. But, um, you just never know. You can call the pops and papers. But it is helping me just be able to be through this, through these fights, so. But. Kind of see a shrine on the on the map there, and I think this might be. Let's get this guy first. I think there might be a secret door here. It might actually be on the other side. Let's see. It might actually be here. This is probably the way forward. Yep, so let me see if I can find this shrine. Might be down here, actually. There we go. Alright, so we're going to shrine before the end fight. We didn't use this one on normal and hard, but... Uh, He's down to 185 spell points, and I think he could. I think really think we could probably get through the end without him. But uh, better to have him. I mean, you never know when you're gonna get that tri triple we Reaper wave, and why push our luck? All right, I'm gonna buff up. This is probably a final buff round here. I don't think the quest is that. There's not much left to do. And I'm going to give my hireling firing for just 
in case. Those seem to be the worst things that we were hit by. That we can protect from. Probably still on timer. Nope, he's off timer. Timer's really short on Reaper One. I want to heal him up. So, let's see, I think I did this on Hard Run as well, but basically there's a circle. We, we don't want to keep going around the circle. We want to go this way, uh, which is towards the end. All right, and so we just need to clear both sides here and then have our hireling pull a lever, much like before. Just a little lazier. Let's see how are clear that is. My big cleave is not not a, is not a timer. All right, so I'm gonna put him stand his ground, highlight the lever just like before. Have him pull, and then I pull. The Lord's voice aggressively demands, Now slay the brother of Shadow's guardian and finish this. So, uh, remember, I want to remember to do the RXP. It's 302 Reaper XP. And that is the Tomb of the Shadow Lord on Reaper 1 Skull. <laughs>